What's in the box, man? What's in the box? What does that say? Invasion? What the heck is this? This is called The Invasion by C4 Labs. Wow, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Invasion. I'm gonna take off this plastic first. A lot of pieces to this kit, as you see. And uh, I believe this is gonna be for the fan, so let's go ahead and set that aside for now. Oh, we've got a um, another black piece, and we have some clear pieces as well that are mar they are marked. They say USB or they say Ethernet or they say micro USB. Nice. We got foot pegs. We got heat sinks. All right, this kit's looking pretty pretty sick. You get a lot here. All right, so the top is last, so I'm gonna save that set that aside and uh, I'm building this upside down at the moment now I know the screws are all the same there's a total of eight screws but the first ones to put in are going to be just underneath the um, on the bottom of this uh, to make it simple is they give you the screw and then there's these little nuts so those nuts will definitely help with the assembly go ahead and uh, put the screw in and then cover it with the nut okay so one and you're gonna do that for all four. And this is gonna be the base support for the pie. I know that the USBs are gonna to go towards this direction. So the kit itself is gonna look is gonna go on just like this. But I think what we need to do is actually put the um, put the front cover on to get that to go on at the same time, to get that to slide in. Okay, front cover, side cover. I wanna make sure this plate fits on there before I tighten it. Okay, plate is on there. Now I can tighten these pegs. Okay, pegs are on. Uh, the micro SD thing could go on here as well. And uh, next up, let's mount the fan. This piece eventually is gonna go over something like this. Should just all line up. Yep, and then the screws go down in. But before we do that, we need to mount the fan onto this piece. And then this is just all gonna screw into those pegs with those four buttons there. It's that easy. All right. So we got all the screws there, all the nuts. Actually, you do want to orientate your fan correctly. So it's gonna eventually go like this, right? So this is gonna go on like that. So that's a good one right there, because then I can just plug it into my GPIOs. We got all our little plates on there. We've got our fan attached. You need to hook up your fan and then also orientate this. This little gap is gonna go over your HDMI cables where it's full side it goes over your GPIOs there. So on the fan it is gonna go black, red, and then a blink. Make sure all these are up. And so when you put it down, it covers everything. Nice. Now we're just gonna line up these last four screws getting there. Look at that. Really pretty. I don't know if you can see that. You can get into the HDMI ports there. You still got the audio. Nice way to hide your wires as well. On this side here you got your USBs, your LAN, all labeled and everything. Can you see that? Really nice. Here's the top. You see that you're actually looking at the bottom of the pie right now. That's the RAM chip heat sink. Uh, the kit actually comes with its own little heat sink. I just, this pie already had a heat sink on it, but it would look silver. It would look something like that hanging out, uh, but it would be flush. Um, and then you have the bottom with the fan, and we're not done yet, so it looks like this so far. And then the last touch 
is to um, put on these little rubber grommets. Now here's where you can do some personal customization. Now you can see here on the piece they wrote invasionc4labs.net and they have four little round cutouts which actually match up to these four here. And so it's meant that you put the rubbers on this piece. I think it's meant there because if you look at all their stock images, that's what it looks like is that it's blank on the top. Uh, however, I see some people on the reviews would rather see it like that. Um, I kind of like that as well. So you might be asking, well, the holes are lined up there. I want to make sure that these holes are lined up here. What I might recommend doing then is what I'm going to do, which is just I'm going to put them in the correct spot upside down. And then when I press down on the... Um, on the piece, it should be all lined up. Yeah, I'm gonna have the HDMI ports going out the back. So I want the name to be like just like this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this where I think it should go. And then now I can press down and get those rubber pieces on there. So not bad symmetric wise and then just press down on those get them nice and good and then now this just fits right in there right on top. What that does is it adds ventilation here it covers up the heat sink and the screws and you're left with this really cool black computer case. Envision case by C4 Labs it says Invasion on there or you can go straight up black. You take off the, the removable plastic piece there. You see the Raspberry Pi. You have access to your micro SD right there. You can still use your display and camera ports. They got cutouts for all of that. This side, there's nothing there. You can see the fan on the bottom. You got your ports there. And then in the back, you have, you know, audio, HDMI, and your power. So it looks just like a computer, really nice, really solid build, you got the top there, and it's fairly inexpensive for what you're getting, I mean, it's a cool little case for every all the little details and everything that's put in, it comes with the heat sinks, comes with that nice big fan. Um, let's go ahead and test the fan lastly, but it's looking beautiful. Alright, we have the fan on now. And what this is going to do, it's a really nice cooling because what it is is pushing air on the fan and then the air is going out. So it's sucking in air from the bottom, cool air, and then it's pushing out the sides and there's ventilation here at the top. So really cool design as far as airflow goes. Probably one of the best I've seen. So there you go, Invasion Case by C4 Labs will be links in the description below. I hope this video helped you out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.